Um, one of the other projects that uh, the Republicans have been up to in the wake of them trying to have to explain away how they have created unemployment systems that don't help people, how they basically saw so much waste in our government that they got rid of the stuff that would have probably mitigated, at the very least, mitigated this disaster. Here is Newt Gingrich. He's still alive. I don't know. Does he have a book out? Uh, I think he's holed up in the Vatican, actually, with a... Are you serious? Castillo, yeah. Because his wife is the uh, is the uh, ambassador uh, to the Vatican. And here he is. Um, what a perfect place to say this from, the Vatican, that um, that the Democrats are probably hoping for the economy to crash and people to suffer. Uh, I'm sure you saw some of the video of the various protests around the country regarding the stay at home um, orders uh, in uh, one of the big ones was in uh, Denver, Colorado yesterday. Uh, and the Denver Post talked to a, a fellow by the name of Jim Finnamore. And he said that he thinks that Democrats are using the coronavirus as a political tool. He said to crash the economy and hurt the president so that he loses. You don't think there are politics like that involved in these calculations, do you? Uh, I look, I don't, to be honest, I don't think that Schumer and Pelosi mind or that Biden minds uh, if uh, the economy doesn't quite recover rapidly. I mean, they're, they're faced with a nightmare. If the president finishes handling the coronavirus as well as I think he will, and he then pivots and uses all of his ability to create a strong economy, and by September and October, you can tell that we're coming back. Um, the election will be over and Trump will get reelected. Well, you know, if you're close to Schumer, you would sort, of, sort of like to have that comeback, say, next January, but not this September. And I'm, I'm not saying that they sit down in a coldly calculated way, but I, I don't think that they have at any point placed putting America back to work ahead of partisan politics. And that's why for a week now, they have screwed up the small business loans, uh, which clearly hurts because small business creates uh, the largest number of new jobs in America. And you have a lot of small businesses saying, look, I've got about a week to go if I can't get financing. And they just sat on it. Well, you, you tell me yep. uh, why that is not, frankly, uh, a remarkably destructive thing why, for them to be doing. Mr. Speaker, why did they do that? Why, the Dem why are they making this political? Why did the Democrats not pass the proposal, the last proposal? I mean, is it because they don't want the president to have a win? Don't, don't they need to put the American people ahead of anything else? Well, look, I, I think that they are engaged in a game of chicken. Uh, they've done this now several times. Uh, I like how Kilmeade almost jumped in there because he's really, uh, you know, jazzed. And, what, you know, Kil to be clear, Kilmeade's uh, problem with it is that you have to um, use the money on the loan to cover 75% of it to get it for free. You can get a low-cost loan for however much you want. I mean, that's available. But if you want it basically to be a grant, 75% of it's got to be spent on, uh, on, on employee payroll, which is, I mean, I, I don't know how you complain about that in any shape or form. Uh, but be that as it may, Newt Gingrich is not getting on a plane. And first off, let me tell you something, folks. The economy is not coming back in January. Not, a, not of 2021. The idea that we're going to pull out of this. The, the reason why they even talk this way is because they are setting this up to blame the Democrats for the economy. That is, that is it. There is no, there is no mechanism. There is no world where this, where this, where where coronavirus just goes away. It's just not. That's not happening. I I really wonder, like, if they've, if any of them have thought this through at all, or they're just the idea is like, let's just get the protests going, and um, hopefully there won't be that much of a spike, and we just that's it. This is the Tea Party playbook, part two. Here's Kevin McCarthy saying that. Going just a little bit further than Newt Gingrich. Even Newt Gingrich was like, I don't think there's a plan. I think they're just happy about it. 
Here's Kevin Carthy saying, well, I don't know if you can rule out the idea that the Democrats are purposely trying to crash the economy by listening to doctors. More. Denver Post talked to a guy by the name of Jim Finnamore, and he, his quote to the paper was essentially, he thinks that the Democrats are using coronavirus as a political tool to crash the economy and hurt President Trump so that in November he pause loses. Who the F you don't pause think pause the Democrats are trying to... Who the F is Jim Finnamore? This cutout that they basically just use, I'm sure the guy exists, but you're going to bring him up in every interview you do? Jim Finnamore. Did I tell you guys that uh, Steve McKenzie, uh, you know, told me that like Steve Douchey is an idiot? Steve, uh, Steve Flanapan also said that too. It's crazy. Go ahead. To crash the economy and hurt President Trump so that in November he loses. You don't think the Democrats are trying to do that or do you? I don't know what the Democrats are trying to do. I do know the number three most powerful Democrat in Congress, uh, the majority whip, Mr. Clyburn, said he wants to use the coronavirus to restructure government in their liberal views. I do know I watched Speaker Pelosi when we were doing the CARES Act hold it up because she wanted the Green New Deal. She wanted to make sure sanctuary cities. She wanted to change election law. And she fought for the National Endowment for the Arts. I do know that Speaker Pelosi has now held up small business from actually getting money. That's holding it up from Democrats, Green Party, Republicans and all. That is wrong. I don't know what your motive is, but the one thing I do know, we'll only defeat this if we work together, if we put people before politics. I've watched Republicans sit in the table just as I've done before and make sure we work together. There you go. Wow. Pelosi's on board with the Green New Deal? That's uh, news to me. <laughs> I know. That's the, that's the amazing thing about this. That's the amazing thing about this. The Democrats, the idea that the Democrats have an option as to, well, we wouldn't want to do that because that's a political loser. Well, sorry, the words exist now. So now it's, you're tied to it. That Jim's Fenimore, though, you got to watch out for him. Wasn't he President Fenimore? Matt, wasn't there a Fenimore president? James Fenimore Cooper. Am I making that up? Uh, that was James Fenimore Co Cooper is an author. There was Millard Fillmore Fenimore. I don't know if there was a. Maybe I'm thinking of uh, Fillmore. Yeah. These things just they pop into my head when I hear the word Fenimore. Matt Fenimore Cooper. That's uh, Last of the Mohicans, correct? Uh, that is correct. Yep. All right. There you go. Literary uh, hangover cure coming from to Patreon soon. There's been a number of those uh, James Fenimore Cooper episodes. I know. A lot of them.